Okay, we're in section 3.2. 3.2 is about systems of three linear equations and three variables. So of x, y, and z, most likely in these equations, instead of just maybe x and y, we might have been used to before. The topics in this section are, what about three-dimensional coordinate systems? What do they look like? There's some over there. We'll do that in a minute. Um, what do we know about linear equations in three variables? Nothing right now. What kinds of solutions can you have when you have a system of three linear equations and three variables? And finally, What's the process to solve the system? We're going to use elimination and back substitution to solve the system. Three equations, three unknowns. We'll get started right away with the three-dimensional coordinate system. It helps us visualize what's going on with these systems of equations. So here we go. We'll talk about the Cartesian coordinates in three dimensions. So it says here, order triples are used to represent points. So triples look like x, y, z, like that. So you've got parentheses, you've got three numbers, there's commas in between them, first, second, and third coordinates of the point. And then in order to visualize that kind of thing, we have to uh, try to make a graph. Of course, the coordinate system is three-dimensional, and this piece of glass is only two-dimensional. So we draw this picture here where we imagine this axis is actually extending out of the board. And these two are in the plane of the board. It's not that satisfying in lots of cases. We have to use our imagination to imagine that's three-dimensional. That can be challenging. We're going to try to plot this point that has x coordinate a, y coordinate b, and z coordinate c. Now, we always set up our coordinate system in this way, where x points out, and y goes right, and z goes up. And that kind of system is called the right-handed coordinate system. It's right-handed because if you take your fingers and point them along the x-axis and swing them to the y-axis, the z-axis is the direction of your thumb. There's actually two different ways you could label it. So that's the right-handed way, and the other way would be the left-handed way, where you swapped x and y. But we're always going to have these right-handed systems, and the, when the coordinates, first, second, and third coordinates will be x, y, and z, like that. So if we plot. A, B, C, like that, that says the X position, so it lies across from the X axis at a distance A from the X, the Z, Y plane. So kind of it's somewhere here, that far away from the origin, as it were, in the X direction. And then in the Y direction, it's distance B, okay. And then things get a little bit more hairy, so that's it's above this place here, which would be the place AB in the XY plane, and, and the distance C above. So it's a little hard to see where that is, so usually what we'll do is we'll just try to draw the same type of thing up here. So that would be raised on up to height C, this little flat piece here. Make kind of a cube like this, just so our eyes can more easily imagine that being three-dimensional not so easy. And then we put our dot here. So that says we've moved A units in the X direction, B units in the Y direction, and above the X, Y planes, I've gone up, I've gone up C units. A little bit of a challenge. We'll use the actual coordinates over here. We're going to plot 1, 2, 3. It's going to look like this. 1, 2 might be here. And then the height. Oh, here we go again. One, two, having troubles, maybe here. Like that. The other one is one minus two. So come over here, one minus two, and the height is minus three. So now I have to draw that same thing down here. Like that. So I'll go like this. And like that, I guess. Got to step back and take a look. It looks all right. It looks all right. So that puts us down here. So this one here is 1, minus 2, minus 3. And this point up here is 1, 2, 3. So that'll make you think a little bit about 
that you should have taken drafting while you were still in high school, and they teach you how to draw things in three dimensions. It would be helpful now. Luckily, we don't have to draw too many pictures, and hopefully that picture was good enough, but there's also pictures in your book that might make more sense to you. And, uh, but we'll have them on the screen here, and we'll be doing more of them. Moving on to our next uh, topic is, what about linear equations in three variables? See what we can say about that. I'll see you in a minute when we talk about that.